Hey everybody, Robbie Thigben here with Marine Conservation Without Borders. And we're right today, we're down here in the uh, mountainous rainforest of Southern Belize. We're here to visit our friends in the Mopan community of San Jose. Um, a lot of times people ask me, Robbie, you spend a lot of time in the jungle, why? You know, you're, you're Marine Conservation Without Borders. Well, if we spent all the time in the sea, we'd be Marine Conservation With Borders. Our work doesn't stop at the beach because everybody should act, have access to a science education in their mother tongue. And anyway, we're gonna be talking to some friends here who's we use our books in their schools and we're gonna see what they think about our materials. Anyway, follow me. My name is Medodio Cal, principal of San Jose RC School in the Toledo district. I'm very much appreciative of um, Richard Peck along with um, Diego, Diego um, Ico for venturing into the translation of the, of the book called Mangroves, um, initiated by Rabi who is very dedicated to um, conservation without borders. And uh, we have seen uh, the great, crucial, and uh, very um, aligned way of reaching to the children using this book. So we have seen our children love it. And therefore, with conservation that we have here for the Caribbean, we will be able to see more of our students learning better in their own language to transfer it in the English so that they will be able to see the interconnection that they are going to learn as they progress in the um, curriculum within the school um, initiated um, objective and topics. So the conservation without borders definitely um, will have an impact in the classroom um, with our children with their education and uh, further conservation around the community and for the, and for the country of Belize. Thank you. Uh, my name is Richard Peck. I am a teacher at San Jose RC School. And uh, I was privileged to take part in the translation of the manga book. When I, when Juan Diego Eco contacted me, I thought it was another, it's just another translation that I have to do. However, as I delve deeper into the book, I realized that the content has much more to do with science, with uh, the protection of our environment. And I became very enthusiastic about it because these are the types of books and these are the types of activities that are inside the book that we need to combat climate change. And these books are written in our first language, the Mopan language for Belize. So as I began using the book, I see the interest in the students and I saw that they are understanding more of the content and enjoying the activities that are within the book. I am grateful to the organization Marine Conservation Without Borders, and especially Robbie for initiating the idea of having such a book that will impact the children of today, but including the children of the future. So I will advise and I would like to see that other Mopan communities take advantage of having this book in their classroom to impart uh, the curriculum content that we have in Belizean study as well. So thanks very much. <laughs> 